Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be updating your iPhone iPad or iPod Touch. Anyways, let's get started. On the top you guys will see or just search for your settings. So we're going to open up your settings. In your settings, I want you guys to go into your first option and make a backup. So just make that backup using iCloud or hook it up to your computer and make that backup in your computer. You guys can use iTunes for PC or Finder on Mac, which is also good to do if you're having any problems during this update. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you up here if you tap on your name and you scroll down just a little bit, you will see iCloud as an option down here below. Just tap on iCloud. Under iCloud, once again, we're gonna go all the way down until you guys see iCloud Backup. So we're gonna tap on iCloud Backup. Under iCloud Backup, just manually backup now. So right now we're gonna continue on and it's gonna back it up. So make sure to do this backup before we update and that's just in case anything happens. You obviously don't want to lose your information or your photos so it's very important to make this backup. So we're just gonna go back all the way back and then just scroll down once we're in the main menu and you guys will see general. Under general, your second option, software update. From here we should see this popping up. For some of you, you may not see download at the moment, you might just see install. That's okay, that means it just downloaded it, but it didn't install the software update just yet. So at this point, you should tap on download and install or just install if that's what you see. So let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna ask us for a passcode if you have one. Once again, it doesn't matter what you guys have, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, it's exact same instructions. And you guys will see the exact same screens whether you guys have an iPad or iPhone, for example. Now just make sure you have at least 50% of your battery. And even if you do, you have a lot more than just 50% of your battery, I would still hook it up to some electricity just in case. Because I know with older iPhones, sometimes the batteries are not 100% there. So you do not want your iPhone or iPad to fail once it's installing the update. When it's downloading it, it's no big deal. It You can just download it again. However, when it's installing, then glitches can happen. And that's when you get in trouble. You would have to restore it. And that's why we made that backup just in case anything happens to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Other than that, this is really small update, so it's not gonna take too much time. However, it does depend on your internet speed. So just make sure not to be too far away from your router. That way it goes a little bit faster. We're gonna let this do its thing and just download and install. At this point, you could just leave your iPhone, iPod Touch to just do its thing. You don't really have to be looking at it but just make sure it doesn't die on you. If the screen itself locks or anything like that, that's no problem. It actually will restart. So you will see an Apple logo, a loading bar. So just about 15 minutes later, you should see something like this, an Apple logo and a loading bar. So yes, this does take a little bit longer. For example, if you guys have an Apple TV, the Apple TV update only took five minutes or even less. The, however, the update for an iPhone or iPad will take significantly longer. So right now, all we have to wait is for a restart and then we should be done. Right after that Apple logo and loading bar, we should see this screen so we can swipe up, putting our passcode if you have one, and then we're all done. That's it for the update. We can check again in settings just by going to general, software update, and from here it should say up to date. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.